one of the things that as I'm like kind of listening to you share some things and you've shared some things as well. And you guys refer to some of these guys as losers. And then you guys also refer to some of these guys as not having money. And then, you know, a lot of unhealthy things that make guys unattractive. You guys have described them as well. Do you guys think there's any characteristics about yourselves that make you unattractive to men the same way that you find certain guys so unattractive to you? Yes. yes. Okay. And yeah. what, what would you, what would you think those characteristics are? About oneself. Yeah. About yourself. Yeah. Okay. I think I threaten men because I'm just very independent and I, I'm very successful and I don't really need to rely on anybody else or, or, you know, just even bother with your presence because I am so well established on my own. So at 23, yes. 23 with a money tree boo. Like, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what is your job? I work on OnlyFans. Okay. And I'm a model. So money tree from OnlyFans. Yes. I run a business off OnlyFans. Okay. Plug it in. Yeah. What's your OnlyFans? OnlyFans.com slash Jesse Tron. Oh, or you can just so go to my cool. website, jesse.vip. And then, um, so in regards to this money tree, is this a... Uh, like one of those, you know, have you seen the Karate Kid? One of those okay, short. So I quit my job. Okay. And I didn't have anything else to do. So obviously I took a leap of faith and I started an OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. And with that, I started making zero, a hundred dollars, whatever. Let's say X amount of money. And throughout time, that X amount of money has multiplied way too many times mm-hmm. in order. And then. It's just, it's become a business at this point. So yeah. you run a full-blown business when how you long have, have you, an OnlyFans. And account. how long have you been doing that for? A little over a year. Okay. So it's like a money tree, like that kind of tree? Or like a uh, actual, no, like... No, I need a bigger bag than that. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I think I think it's interesting. No, no disrespect to any women in the OnlyFans industry that you guys think that you have, like, money. When, like, you guys more than likely don't. And in regards to, like, having a career... You have you're like you guys are actually like temp workers, you know, and so it's a season of temporary of money, but I don't think it's a money tree. Cause when I think about a tree, a tree can also have seeds that create more money. What you mean to tell me is that my looks are not going to last me very long. But what I mean to tell you is that Yes, they are money guys it- is really is flowing abundantly at this point in my life so mm-hmm. i'm taking advantage of that situation yeah. and with that i can invest, invest into myself course. in different parts of myself i don't have to work 40 hours a week or give myself up or do anything that i don't want to do because of the liberty that i have so yeah. if you know you could go ahead and put me down say i don't got money whatever no 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 <laughs> i think people making millions of the only of course yeah. you don't know how much i made at the other day no but oh. do, do you know why it's temp work you know what temp means but it's not because um, you could do it for as long as yeah, you want you really can yeah you can stop while you're 70 you can stop while you're 50 right now There's i'm 23 year if i keep doing yeah, it until i'm on. like 30 something yeah. after so many years that would be thousands and thousands and thousands yeah. and at the end of the day, I don't think you're the consumer for that. So you I'm, really have, yeah, no, you, you really don't know what to say about it because you're not spending your money on it. So how yeah. would you even know how much money goes in there? Someone, well, someone asked if it's a money tree, what seeds can you plant with OnlyFans? Well, any you can start up any business you want. Like, yeah, I think, I think I, my biggest thing is I just think when you're a 20 year old kid, I'm a 20 year old woman. I'm sorry. I was, I was rude of me. Yes. When you're a 20 year old kid yeah, yeah. and you think that you have a certain <laughs> amount of money, <laughs> and when you think that your career is a career when it's a temp job, my problem is so many young women believe this story. And then when you look at women who are your peers who are 40 and 50, how many of them who were in sex work are still making profit? Because what you're not realizing is right now, yes, you're making $10,000, $12,000, $8,000 a month doing OnlyFans. That's fantastic. But what's going to happen is each year as you become older, as your audience begins to mature and gets kind of tired of the same old girl, they're going to move on to A, the the new girl on the block and spend money on her. And that $10,000 that was coming in becomes seven and then it becomes five and then it becomes four. But here's the problem. Your lifestyle remains the same. 
and your lifestyle also increases at times. So the bills that were once 5,000 a month become six and seven, eight. And the same exact problem that athletes had, which is why so many athletes are broke because you made it, they make their money when they're young and then that career is not sustainable. Women in sex work have that same problem. And it go into that same situation. Yeah. And so to me, when you call it a money tree, you are you're deceiving yourself. And to me, that's harmful message to be communicating to women. Because I know a lot of women who are in these different fields and these different industries. And when they're 20 and they're young, they think they're making so much money. But when they look back on the women before them, that's not the case. Do you understand that concept in regards to money as well? I understand the lesson you're trying to teach me 100% because that's true for any business. It's not going to last forever. So I completely get that. And, you know, if you have any knowledge on how to get further in life, I feel like you should spread it, right? So if you know how to make anybody more successful, successful, then you should do it if you have that knowledge, yeah. which is great that you do. And I have I have the knowledge that I have and I use it to my advantage and I use it and I spread it. And you have your knowledge and you should use it and spread yours. No, I agree with you. But for me, I think what I'm what the reason that kind of like made me want to question it is because I hear so I'm from Atlanta. Here so many women who are saying that they're making money from OnlyFans when you're making money in a year. And you're thinking that that money you made in a year is going to be the money that you're going to be making in 10 years and 20 years and 30 years and 40 years. And so that's just not the case. So that's just something I just I hope I don't know if you know you're listening, but I hope that's something that you grasp because the money that you make today at 23, that might be the most you'll ever make in your life. But your lifestyle remains the same. But what if like these girls, some of them, I mean, I'm not saying everyone, but like what if some of them are? smart businesswoman or they develop a more business mindset and they take the quick money that they made and they invest it and they develop it no, and they build on it. They can, but let's yeah. be real here. Most won't. No, no, no. And I totally but get that. But that's other do? women. What if they do? Okay. Not, not everybody is the same. Um, like, you're hundred percent. My right. friend, um, he's making 150,000 off of OnlyFans every single month. Okay. But is it As, Jimmy? Jimmy. Yeah. Um, he's one of I think you look familiar. Friends. Yeah. I think you look familiar. Wait, I think I know who that is too. Okay. But so he kind of like taught me the ropes on how to like be able to um, grow your OnlyFans. But you could really like, I know it's hard from the outside looking in, but you could really yeah, make it, it into like a career that could really take care of all of your finances and be financially stable and free. It just depends on what how much you invest into yourself, what kind of social media following you have. Because it's not really, to be honest, it's not really about what you're selling. It's about Instagram too. How many people follow you on Instagram? How many people, exposure. how many exposures, how many followers you have? How many people are actually fans of you and want to go yeah. subscribe to you? So I don't like, yeah. No, I, I, under, I understand that. I understand that in regards to making money today, if you want, if you're, if I'm a 22 year old woman, and I want to make money today. It's it's common math since the beginning of time. Take your clothes off. People will give you money. But the problem is that in regards to the long run of life, that's not a sustainable model. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I'll go ahead. Would you say the same thing about girls that are in like the nightlife industry? Not, I'm not saying strippers. I'm saying like bartenders, servers, nightclub waitresses, bottle girls, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Would you say the same thing? Like that they're, you know, cause they're making fast money, whatever, but what if they take it, they flip it and they do things. And, and here's, and, and I love that point, but we have to ask ourselves an honest question. How many people are real life entrepreneurs? And so to me, it kind of offends me and not saying anyone here is doing it when, when certain people act like they're entrepreneurs, when they're not. A lot of people who are entrepreneurs understand that it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's yeah, a yeah. it's a long go. Yeah. So you're not going to be 22 years old, make money, and then all of a sudden have that money for the rest of your life. Right. You're going to have to, you're probably going to lose it over and it. over and you have to do so many things. And so to me, it's the idea that, okay, are they going to take this money at 22 and then invest in their life? The question becomes, what what, what are they doing with this money? Because what happens with a lot of girls at 22 oh, or 23 years old, what do they end up doing? They end up buying nice apartments. Do you guys live in nice apartments? Yeah. They, do you have a nice car? Yeah. No, I don't. Do you have nice clothes? 
Yes. So what ends up happening is you begin to build a lifestyle up. And you, you have, have to, to keep up with that. Yes. And then, and then what happens it's is like your, money your you money is not going into your business. No, 100%. Because no, the reality is you already have a short-term mindset yeah. thinking. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking fast money, mm -hmm. how are you going to be a person that's also simultaneously going to invest for the long haul? Mm -hmm. And that is oxymoronical. So is there a girl who might do OnlyFans, who might save 90% of her money to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, a real estate is that a, pot a potential? Yes, but is that the majority? No. And so the reality mm -hmm. is, most people who get into careers with short term fast money perspectives, they end up being short term fast money people and they don't end up making the money in the long term. So, <laughs> guys, uh, a quick announcement. Break a point. Break a point. We got the godfather in the house, Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Uh, so, we just add him on stream. Uh, Kevin, welcome to the show, man. Now let's play big bank, take little bank. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. We got Kevin fucking Samuels in the That's house. Hi, guys. How are we doing? What's up, Kevin? One thing that I heard from the, from the ladies that I often heard when I spent a lot of time in corporate strip clubs with high-end escorts, porn stars, the new girls to the industry all thought they discovered fire because they were hot. What Afiz was trying to tell you ladies is the money you're making is seasonal. There will be a new it chick every season. And what ends up happening is if you don't take the money you have while you're hot, and if you're not flexible enough to listen to people who know better, you'll just have a lot of money that you blow. Now, I don't know why so many women think OnlyFans is this open fount of money. It's a it's money OnlyFans is at scale now. And we have no history on women going a decade of making money, same store sales year over year on this platform. So everything that I heard from you ladies is the most optimistic projections if nothing changes. But this it does open so it's not possible That's for true. it to be for 10 years because it hasn't even been a decade since the website has just came. That's what I just said. Sex work has been around since forever. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. what. So, so, like I was saying, I traffic in places where high-end dancers, escort, sex work. Ladies, how do you honestly think you're going to make increasing money over the next 10 years? I've increased my money exponentially every single month since I started OnlyFans. That's a month. And, and that's and that's every month. And a half but years. I said over the next 10 years. You've been in this business for right about a year. Right? Is it 10 years old yet? That's not the question. Well, any business. If see, it see, and, see and here's the thing. And this is what I mean by the hard-headedness piece of it. In order to be able to take the money you've made and apply the so-called knowledge you have, you need to be able to work and leverage with people who know more than you instead of looking Hafiz in the face like he doesn't know what he's talking about when he runs a million-dollar, almost million-dollar business. The guys on the podcast who are on the verge of running a million-dollar business and another person who knows how to do it is run most of them. You're asking me questions to prove to you like I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think you know what you're talking about regarding OnlyFans. That's for sure. Because but I do know what I'm talking about as far as business and making money. In regards to making money, money comes in waves and we all have to understand that. And if we all invest successfully, we can... Where are you investing? In Where are you investing? People, people are... Good. Where are you investing? Average. Where are you investing? That's none of your business. It's it's a I'll secret. To, to, you know, declare well, see, that. You, I, I accept what you just said, but you said money comes in waves. Granted, we have to invest. It's taken. Where's some of the places you're investing? Yeah, you actually, said, in see, this is what this is what this OnlyFans economy has done. It's let women with really low functioning knowledge, no high value or high it's ticket skills. Me. That's not low functioning knowledge. Uh, well, let's talk. Okay. Every time I've asked you, I've asked you any question about business and you've asked me a question instead of answering it. And I said, what, and if it's not you, eat the meat, spit out the bones. But what OnlyFans has done is it's created a bubble economy. 
Women are coming rushing to OnlyFans thinking that it's the new dot com, the new real estate, and they're realizing that there is no sustainable way to pro project this out for over five years. Now, maybe you don't know that knowledge, but I do, because I. Well, anyway, anyway. So I, for the club, we're like we're not. You can't even. You get in. In. But we're do you but do you in. understand that what he's not trying to hate? And so no, this but is. But listen, I'm investing yes, my is. only okay, fans okay. money into body contouring. He's asking my friend, "What is she investing in?" Yeah, he is trying to make her feel bad about that. I'm doing it into I'm body. Asking, no, no, I asked her what she was investing in. I don't know whether it's good or bad. I didn't None of you guys pay my bills, so why would I tell you about my business unless you're so, okay, so I let's... think guys are just mad. It's easier for us to make no, very wait, happy for me okay, for my ladies, success. Ladies, calm down. Ladies, calm down. Here, here's, here's the reality. The point of the matter is that what you don't under what we're trying to communicate is that a lot of fields that give people quick money, whether it's entertainment, whether it's sports, whether it's acting, there's so many fields that will give you quick money today. And when you get that money. You think you've made it. Look at all the Atlanta rappers. Look at all the basketball players. You think that you made it because you're getting money today. But a lot of these fields in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you're not making the same amount of money. It's not just you women on OnlyFans. It's also men as well. But the reality of the matter is, is that if you are not wise with your money, if you are not long-sighted with your money, if you don't have actual investments, like understanding cryptocurrency, like understanding mutual funds, like understanding stocks, when, you, when you're not educating yourself on those matters, what ends up happening is you end up losing your money. And the reality of the matter is for a lot of women who are into sex work, you guys are short sighted individuals. So if you, if you're a short sighted person, more than likely you're not spending your money. You're buying bags. You're buying nice apartments. Who said OnlyFans is just sex work though? I didn't say. Who said I'm buying bags? Like who said I don't own Let me, own, let me finish. Stocks. Let me finish. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, that's, see, you can't do that. I asked you what you're buying and what you're investing in, and you didn't want to say it. So when Hafiz makes an, ass an assumption, then you want to question that. See, here's what we have going on. This is what I said about being hard-headed. I think you guys need to be more open-minded. Let him finish. Yes. Let him well, finish. Well, 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 okay. 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 So, so, so guys, you guys need to spread a positive message because at the end of the day, I'm leaving here with a negative so, message from this podcast because you guys um, can somebody grab the control because you don't know what I need to do. Real quick, real quick. Hold on. No, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. You we're just expressing judge, opinions here. Yeah. Minutes, yeah. Ladies, ladies, so. ladies, ladies, ladies. Yeah. We're gonna we're just gonna express the opinions. Uh, me and Fresh are not in it. We're gonna yeah. let you and Hafiz and Kevin talk about this, yeah. and then you guys can give your points. Everyone's gonna get a form to speak. Right. Don't but worry. As it's a man that you don't even know her, you have no place to tell her how and where to invest her money, how to make her money. I didn't tell her where anything. I just asked what she was doing. This is what I mean. This is what I mean, guys. This is what I mean. This is what this is what this economy breathes. It takes a lot of it takes a lot of what this economy breathes, guys. Speak, ladies. Let him speak, and then you guys will get your shot too. So Hafez has been the he's tried to be as measured as possible. I came in trying to be as measured as possible. And what are we getting? We're getting attacked, we're getting angry, we're getting you don't know nothing, you don't know what I do know. What I do know, what I do know, what I do, what I do know, what I do know is of in, of all the business people on this platform, the people who are going to have long term success are not you. Okay, so I'll see. You're saying it's not me. We'll see. We'll see if I won't be successful. And my my point that I was simply trying to bring up. If you feel offended, that's how you feel. But you're you, no, you, I'm wait, not wait, offended. No, 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 no. You had a chance. You had a chance. New York, New York. You had a chance to talk. The reality of the matter is, there is a way, whether you're upset or not, that you talk to people. I have not been trying to be disrespectful to you. I have not raised my tone. I have attempted to allow you to communicate and not talked over you. So what's not going to happen is that as adults, that you don't you're going to treat me one way and I'm going to treat you a different way. The same way that you want me to be respectful, to listen to you and to try to have a conversation with you, I ask that you do the same. If we if we cannot follow those rules, then you can exit the conversation because we are simply trying to have a conversation here. I if you felt like somebody New York, you have to let people talk. You see, this is the re this is the problem. Now we're getting into the problem of modern society because the, 
the whole reason I even got here is because there was certain attitudes I was seeing that you guys were inhibiting. Because remember, the initial question was, what are characteristics about yourself that could be a turn off to a guy? And some of those things in regards to the attitude, because you started off by saying, well, I'm independent, right? But it's not your independence, it's your attitude. And the reality of the matter is the kind of guys that you want have a choice. They're not going to choose this kind of attitude. So when you're attractive, when you have a nice body, when you pay for money, pay for things and all that stuff, you can get attention. But the reality is with that kind of attitude, you will not get retention. And so all day long, the, the, the fundamental reality is when you're 20 and you have your looks, yeah, use your looks to leverage whatever you can get. But that eventually runs out. That eventually runs out. And at the end of the day, what's going to happen is you're going to be at a point in your life where all you're going to have is who you are as a person. And if you have not spent time, energy, effort and resources into investing into yourself to becoming a better person, what you're going to be is by yourself. And so and my my hope for these conversations is that we as men and women can talk to one another and build one one another up. But to sit down here to tear each other down and to come with this negative attitude and this condescending demeanor, that's not the productive way we need to move forward. And we can have a conversation about it. Go ahead. You had something and then we'll turn it to Kevin and, and we'll let you speak as well, yeah. uh, Damaris. Yeah. So go, go ahead. Sorry. It's fine. It's open forum. You know what I'm saying? Say your piece. I, I, I saw that you wanted to say something earlier. No, I retire. And me too. I feel like you said you were being um, respectful, but you weren't. As a man, I feel like you have no place to tell women how to make their um, money. And then you're referring to it as, as a sex industry. Just because you have OnlyFans doesn't mean you're having sex on it. You could be cooking on OnlyFans. You could do whatever you want. So I just feel like I'm just offended. And it's not just him <clears throat> towards me. It's towards women because... Men have no place at all to say how women should and should. We have every place. We built the goddamn world you live in. No, you didn't. I'm gonna the say we're on is built by it's, men. It's, I'm gonna so say one, nobody made this about men you guys or women. Do not get paid. This, unless this is what this I is, stay here. So this is what tends to happen when whether it's OnlyFans, TikTok, Instagram, and and when women can't handle it, they leave. <laughs> this is the point. You, this is about business. Business isn't offensive, but when people in their lack of knowledge gets exposed, they get offended. They call themselves experts and business owners and everything else. You're sh online strippers, but make a little bit of money. Congratulations. I'm good with escorts. I'm good with strippers. But when someone like Hafiz or myself tries to sit down and talk to you about your level of ignorance, you're offended. Your ignorance is what offends you. And it's offensive to me that you're going to try to make this about men and sexism. This is what the world has done. It's got little pampered princesses who can get online, make some money, and think that they're on the same level as men who built this world, and they are not. That's what you just saw them leave because they can't go get onto Wall Street, Main Street, anywhere, into a bank, into anybody's business to be taken seriously with their so-called business plan or their go-to-market strategy. You're taking what the world has given you, your creator has given you, and you put it online. Thank men for building the internet, the computers, the smartphone, and everything else that allows you to sit up in your luxury apartment and get paid for showing your feet. We did that. You didn't. And in 10 years, when no one wants to see your feet or your G-string or your tattoos or whatever else, a fees, uh, Chris, the roommate, the roommates, uh, Mario, Fresh, not Mario, Mar um, Myron, Myron yeah. Fresh. We will all be still running our businesses because we don't get emotional about business. When somebody tells us we have a hole in our game, we humble ourselves. We check ourselves. We get better. That's what men do because we have the we have the business of building the world. We can't fucking walk off like babies because it happened. I didn't like it. See, Atlas can't shrug. If we shrugged, you would die. That's what happens every time one of you little crybabies gets called out here on the platform you came to to get attention you asked for. When you get more smoke than you're willing to handle, you want to cry and stomp off. Well, kick rocks. And guess what? There'll be a new one tomorrow because now that one of y'all on the panel can honestly say that you are bringing something to the market that ain't 15 other chicas down on the street bringing. None. So when we sit here and try to have a conversation with you and tell you, guess what? Whether you're on Instagram, Facebook, 
TikTok, whatever. Every new influencer, every new person thinks just because they have the dope content, they've got the fucking key. They got the they they've been discovered fire. They've invented the wheel, and there's more that goes into it than just turning on a camera and saying, "Hi, I'm on YouTube. Hi, I'm on Facebook. Hi, I'm on OnlyFans." It takes planning. It takes work. It takes strategy. It takes business knowledge. It takes collaboration. It takes a lot of things that you obviously don't have. And that's why you're upset, because at the end of the day, you know, you don't have them and you don't have the patience, the intelligence, even the patient, the patience, the intelligence, even the resources to sit down and just listen. So carry your cell phone. And when OnlyFans stops, Subway will be hiring. Oh, my God. My <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Wow. The Godfather is in the house. Thank man. you, Kevin. Kevin, thank you for Good coming night. on the show, brother. Man. Wow. And with that, uh, I think the ladies, are, they're outside. Are they mad? Uh, you know, uh, Kevin's off the air now. Did they want to come back or not? Nah? Kick out, Cam. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Do they want to come back? Yeah. Hey, Kevin's off the air, guys, if you guys want to come back. They're going to come back? They respect Mr. Samuels. They respect Mr. Samuels? Okay. Oh, yeah. You guys were just talking to... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Yeah, they clearly <laughs> didn't know you. what it was. Yeah. 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 You, you guys, that wasn't a random dude. That was not no random like like yeah. guy on the street. So, all right. Ladies, you're gonna, are you guys going to come back or not? Or are we going to end this thing? No, okay. no, no. Okay, guys, closing thoughts on this. Yeah, closing thoughts, gentlemen. Because Hafiz was very passionate. He was being respectful, displaying his, like, definite maturity. And I just feel like they, they were taking advantage of it. But Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. It's, it's sad because we have been in this position before. We had these conversations with women like this already. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they understand that we're coming at a place of caring. Right. You know, Fees cares. Kevin cares. We care. We we see the future. Yeah. We have talked to thousands of women that are in their mid thirties, early forties, and they are lonely. Yeah, they are single. That have made the decisions similar to to them, and it just has negatively affected them. So this is a warning. Yeah. Like I understand that you have your independence, but it's every decision has it could be a positive reaction or it could be a negative reaction everything has consequences so when you're not Facts. thinking about the consequences yeah all you see is the bright positive things it's like nah you need wise people but like hey the i truth. understand what you're doing right now but maybe in five ten years your business model is not sustainable yeah and we have seen we had success early on we hit rock bottom had some good wisdom hey y'all need to make some changes y'all need to continue to work hard and look where we're at now they haven't gone through that yet. They have not experienced that. So when we know what they are going to hit, we just hope that they have a plan that they did save, that they did invest because they can look at their older peers right now. Most of their life, I guarantee they would not want that at all. And I just want to add one point real quick before Alfie goes. Yep. We made, we made money whether they're on the show or not. So yeah. that was kind of... I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I wanted to say that, brother. I, I was like, was bro, like... <laughs> Yeah, we good. Yeah, yeah we good. Like, everybody's good over here, bro. Girls on or not, we, we we make money, so yeah. we're good. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Come good, back, good. please. You're welcome back. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. It, go ahead, Hafiz. You got a point. Yeah. Um. Go ahead. No, I'm. I mean, I'm curious to. Um. I forgot. Your yeah. Name. What were your thoughts, Miss well, Jersey, okay. on that? Um, for the record, I don't have an OnlyFans. Yeah, let them know. Um, just so you know, everyone asks for it, but I've never done it. Um, mm -hmm. I started to create the account. I started. And you stopped. And then I saw they wanted your social. I was like, uh -uh. oh yeah, uh -uh. and a driver's license. I don't think so. Um, so I never did that. But I understand where the girls are coming from. I one hundred. I like. I agree with them. I get it. I totally one hundred percent understand it. Um, and I I do understand where he's coming from too. I. I don't have an OnlyFans, so like I can't relate exactly to what she's saying, but I do get where you guys are coming from in the in the like the terms of like quick money, like because I work in the service industry. Um, I work at the Hard Rock, the Guitar Hotel, and we make good money, but we work our asses off physically, emotionally, like mentally, like we do a lot of shit. So um, I'm not investing really a lot of my money right now yeah so like i get it i get where you're coming from because it's like where are you investing your money right now i'm not really like i put a little bit into like some stocks and shit but it's not like anything crazy but i also want to get myself on my feet first get myself some nice things get myself a nice apartment like because i don't want to live in a shithole i don't want to live in an 800 dollar a, a month um apartment in a ghetto ass neighborhood when I could have a nice apartment because I'm making good money. I deserve to use the money that I'm making and 
and like get myself some nice things. I'm not saying like I'm blowing every penny. I'm yeah. saving things. I'm building my credit. I bought like a fucking car. I got a nice apartment. Um, and in the future, maybe if I, you know, I keep profiting, sure. I'll take that money and I'll look into investing or, you know, people who can do it for me, um, or just building upon that money. But right now it's like, also as a young girl, I mean, I'm 24, but as a young girl, you have to get on your feet first. So when you just start out, like I'm just starting out getting my money, she's just starting out getting her money. I'm sure she's just starting out cause she's young too. Um, we have to get on our feet first. So however we choose to spend that money in the first year, two years, I mean, that's obviously that's up to us, but like you have to establish yourself first. Like, and, and then two, I mean, I don't know, I guess this kind of circles back to like being a pretty girl or whatever, but if you're working in some sort of industry where you're selling yourself in a way, like I'm selling myself at work as a server personality wise, I'm not like physically selling my body or anything like that at any point. Um, but you're selling yourself as a person, your personality and like getting people to tip you and getting people to spend their money with you or just hand you money, like, which is kind of fun and cool. So if you want to maintain that as a pretty girl, like you have to have maintenance on yourself. Like I spend a shit ton of money on my lashes, my hair, my nails, my, you know, our clothes, like we go out, whatever we meet people. And then we invest in ourselves also to do better on like OnlyFans, Instagram, things like that, your platform. Cause you have to build yourself first. Like yeah. you have to like look good. And, and if you know, you, some girls, we start out looking like you know, not that great. And then over time we get some money, we start to look better. Our money grows and no, it's not going to last forever. Like we're going to get old. We're going to get fucking, okay. Yeah. There's a new girl on the fucking block. We get it. Like, um, being a girl, you know, everything's about looks and age, <laughs> but I get it. Um, okay. but you have to, yeah, invest in yourself and then, and then invest in your fucking future I think as you I, move on. There's also one thing too. There's uh, when people like you as a person, they like you no matter what. So mm -hmm. I used to be Facebook famous back in 2013. I have people on Instagram, on OnlyFans, on Snapchat, on my YouTube channel telling me I've been following you since 2013. I've seen you go so much. I love you so much. This and that. Mm -hmm. Same thing from OnlyFans. When someone truly loves you as a person and supports you as a person, it doesn't care what you're doing. I've had I have real loyal subscribers on OnlyFans that I don't even have to post and they'll just tip me just because they like me. Mm -hmm. Anything I post. They'll just tempt me. Or if I just put a message, that they'll happens just answer to me in it person too. and send it. And in person yeah. too. And I get a bunch of DMs on Instagram every single day about people that have been following me for years, for years, for years. So it's like, it just depends who you are and how you use that money and how you choose to um, keep running your platform. Like, let's say like my friend Jimmy, he doesn't have to make another OnlyFans video. And I bet with all the money that he's made, he be able to invest into a business and never have to do OnlyFans again. And that's really like the goal. You don't have to invest in something right away because if you invest in something right away, just because you invest in something doesn't mean it's going to work out. It doesn't always work out. You have to really plan things out and put like investing in yourself could also mean put, putting money to the side to you de um, decide what you really want to do with that money. So you could have you could do OnlyFans for five years and not know what you really, really want to do until the fourth year. And then after all them five years, you have all that money stacked up to the side. So I don't think you really need a business plan right away. You just need to know to start putting money towards the side for your business plan. So when the time does come that it does run out, mm -hmm. you will have something on the other hand, like Okay. Okay. To do. Understood. But uh Jessica. You have some? Guys, follow oh. me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Tron. And my website is jesse.vip. There you We're go. See, there sale. you go. Dearly yeah. beloved X. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think for me, initially when we started this conversation, yeah. I was just examining. And ladies, please throw your headphones on, yeah. please. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. put them on. <laughs> go, go ahead. Um, initially when we started this conversation, I was just examining to kind of get a feel for the ladies, you know, because I don't, I, I genuinely believe my heart is never to tear down and to insult. I genuinely care about building up every single individual I encounter in my life. And that's been my life's goal. Have I done it perfectly? Of course not. I'm a human being mm -hmm. flawed and all. And so to me, I was just sitting down, listening, hearing. And one of the, one of the things I was noticing was like, okay, <laughs> like these are, pretty ladies like they're like you, you guys are 
you obviously can use your looks to leverage opportunities. But something in me was like, man, there's there's deeper things going on. There's something else going on here in regards to personality, in regards to just this energy. And I felt it. So that's why I asked the question, hey, you guys have mentioned that there were things about men that turn you off. You guys have mentioned, oh, these lame guys and these unattractive guys and these guys are X, Y, and Z that, that they're trying to talk to me and they turn me off. I, why do they even, why do they think they have a shot with me? You guys have mentioned that. And then I just simply wondered, okay, what was, what are things about you that could potentially turn men off? Because the answer was your attitude. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And what you sadly I'm on my period, I'm sorry. No, but here's the <laughs> reason. But, <laughs> <really no>. <laughs> <laughs> but and and this is this is going back to the reality of life. Unfortunately, a lot of you young women are not allowed to be in the real world. Because in the real world, you don't have that excuse. As a man, I can't say I have a rude attitude to my wife. Oh, I was just having a bad day. I was it's having a rude attitude. A bad day. It's okay, I forgive you. I can't have a root attitude to my business partner because because mm-hmm. in the world of men, you have what is called responsibility mm-hmm. and accountability. And that is a difference in thinking. And so to me, I wanted the guys, I actually wanted this to be a teachable lesson. And this is why when it comes to men, you got to understand beauty is what beauty is. You have to live with the beauty. Girls have amazing bodies, but what is her mind like? Mm. Mm. That girl might have a beautiful face. How does her mouth talk like? You have to live with those things. Yeah. That's the reality of life. And so what was clearly communicated with, think about it. Right now, we were talking for an hour. And you got all emotional. And I wasn't even, I was just asking you questions. When did I say you should not do OnlyFans? Did I ever tell you you can't do OnlyFans? You can't tell me what to do, period. I'm like, asking you a question. What dude. I'm saying yes is that no I was question. offended no, by everything I, that was being said. And yes, I was. I, and I'm that's asking what you you're yes asking. Or, um, no, no, no. I asked you a yes or no question. Did I ever tell you that you cannot do OnlyFans? Did I ever did say, I ask? Did, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no question. But you tried to make it yes, seem like no, she no, wasn't. No, no, no. no, yes or no question. Did I ever? T- I, I, what is your yes decision? or no question leading to? Like, do you have I, a I, I have a question. Did I ask you? Did I ever make it? Did I ever say you cannot do OnlyFans? What authority do you have to tell I'm me? Asking that I can't you a do qu- I'm asking you a question. Why would you, you see, ever tell so, me that? It's so here, out of and, line. And, of and as you guys can see, yeah. this is one of the fundamental problems. This is what you're gonna have to deal you with. You know what? My, my sucker for bodies had a way better podcast. <laughs> my my point of the matter is, I never did. Mm-hmm. My intention for the conversation. I wasn't even trying to go to OnlyFans. She made a point about independence and all this other stuff. And, oh, I make my own money. Da, da, da. It's the attitude that turns people off from you. Think about when you when you want to work with people in business. Business is about relationships. Big facts. You don't know who I know. You don't know who Chris knows. You don't know who all these 5,334 people who are here knows. Like the video, guys. You don't know. Channel. The, this could be somebody who w- your business, you want to work with them. There may be somebody who's like, yo, I, I, I like this girl. I might want to put her in a music video. And they're watching this video like, dang, she acts like that when she's in a bad mood. Then she storms off the set like that. That could have cost you money. Damn. That could have cost that could have yeah. cost you opportunity. But but, but but let me let me finish. Cause you you guys had an opportunity. We're to not gonna sit here and just get offended it, about was, our job. Listen, so nobody you, else. Is you had take an that opportunity. Too. See, guys, you see what happens. Remember, guys, I always tell you the way they treat me as a random guy for just an hour. Imagine her loving you, because that's when the woman's emotions are at the highest. Imagine her loving you and desiring you, and then now all of a sudden now she's mad. So take what she's doing to me times a hundred for the rest of your life. We had a conversation initially about this. And what would, what did you ask me? You said, Afiz, what was the most important thing about a woman? I said, peace. Mm-hmm. Peace. Yeah. Peace. What is one of the reasons why men die so earlier than women? Stress. What's going on? This is peace. Men want peace. And so in regards to the conversation, I was simply going to share like, yo, 
These are things that you guys have communicated things that men have to work on. And those are things that we teach. Become financially stable, become a leader, become responsible, become emotionally healthy, become driven, ambitious, courageous, confident, be confident competent. Yeah. We teach these things. We want men to be better. That's what we teach on this platform. But one of the things you guys, you fail to um, notice is that there's some things that you also need to learn. You're 23 years old. <laughs> when I was 23, I was, I was sitting down learning from people. I was like a sponge gathering information you say oh i'm a kid well i feel like i'm a kid too and when your kid know what you do you have a childlike mind not a childish mind a childlike mind and a childlike mind is open to learning and 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 all due honesty that's the difference between her and you guys did she agree with everything that i said of course not there's probably things she didn't like but she at least listened she at least gave it an opportunity. But you're very one-minded. You're not open to learning about. Listen, uh, I was asking you a question in regards to what the topic was. And that's called gathering information. So in regards to me learning from you, if you want to tell me about OnlyFans and instruct me, trust me, we talk to a lot of people. We're not now. See, you, you even know what my job is. You, I didn't ask and I don't care. I'm exactly. not, I don't count people's pockets. Yeah, but it's not about that. But you're saying it like we don't know about OnlyFans. I stay in my own lane. Uh, perfect. That's, That's amazing. Why we got money because we worry about our business yes. and not so, every girl so, that walks into this place business. So, in, so my, my main takeaway from this conversation is three things. Men, remember, this is the rest of your life. And not only that, remember, this is your children's mother. This is your children's mother. This is the woman that's going to be imparting the DNA of your child into. This is the woman that's going to be raising your children. Beauty, I'm telling you guys. All right, only let's look at Kim Kardashian. Beauty and all that stuff means nothing without character. Mm. It means nothing. Mm. Beauty, body, all that shit means nothing without peace. I hope men learn from this. And I hope that women understand short-term thinking leads to long-term disaster. Everybody. I say that all the time. Everybody. Whether, what, whatever it is, if you have a short-term mindset, when you think you're 23 years old, who's had a job for a year, thinking that you're having a money tree, that is a quick recipe to disaster, whether you're male or female. Whether you're in the NBA, NFL, MLB, whatever it is. It applies to all facets. Everybody. Not just you guys. He's not saying Everybody. that to attack you guys. It goes for men, too. Like, if you're a professional athlete, hey, you you know, it, this isn't going to last forever. So it's not just on one side, like... Wait, don't try, because you might fail. Okay. And, and Lord Jesus. That's, cool. that's you can't, and, 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 the la <laughs> and the last thing is, guys, this is TV. This is entertainment. Where's my camera? This is TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is entertainment. But in real life, you can't you can't go back and forth with this. You absolutely can't because all you're going to do is say the wrong thing. All you're going to do is get upset. All you're going to do is, is do something out of character. And, and, as, uh, and as a man, you have to transcend that. Don't engage with these type of individuals who are not willing to learn, who are not willing to grow, who are not willing to improve themselves. Straight up, guys. Like this is life, man. So I hope you man, guys. What do you took, think you I hope, are? I hope you guys take like, this I lesson and take this opportunity to become better versions of yourself. Because at the end of the day, guys, this is your future. This is your lives, and these are your families. Talking.